everyone, Fatty here from Pack Up Punch Traders. Just gonna make a quick overview of the day. Um, missed some really good plays today, so it was a slower day for me. So let's just jump right into it with the plays that I plays I did have. SNOA. I went over this in a previous video lesson. Uh, just failed to reclaim the open price and VWAP level, and it's just so used to the gap up and fail. So it's, that's the personality of this play. People are just used to it spiking and failing the whole day, so shorts were just piling in, and that just never really had a chance. Should have recognized that, or at least gave it more time, so if it was going to fail to break down, it would need some more time, because shorts are pop, uh, into any pop are going to be shorting. So that's what happened here, 410 to 387, just 100 shares, just a little starter, nothing crazy. Uh, ended up failing, $23 loss, whoop de doo uh, it did have a late day little bounce, but weak. VWAP held as resistance the whole time. So that's what we look for. The open price reclaim, VWAP. If this would have done it late day here, it got above it. I think volume really would have came in and we would have got a move. But it just didn't have enough steam in it to head higher. It's low market cap, low flow. I just thought we would get more from it, and we didn't. So that is that. You can, you can also see the volume just kind of faded right away after this little quick pop instantly retreated just no energy really behind it here so yeah so after that took I took that loss right away I recognized NAOV this was a gapper that I didn't really want to trade I had other plays on watch but this one ended up being a decent play rotated the float it was rotating the float um, one time by the time it was I was looking at it I believe and we just had this break over this range here on some decent volume over one 95 8 95 cent area then we have the open price at 113 right around this little bump here another zone that could hold it down and then lastly we got the pre-market highs or sorry the day high which was 127 at the time right up at this little pop here where there's a little bit of resistance but ultimately i thought resistance was in the 150s to the 160 area where there's some more volume on these candles here and rounding up to a whole half dollar level, I thought 150 would hold. Um, we could get there and see if it could hold up there, but did not do what I expected. Thankfully, I was in at a good price, so I was able to get out for a little over 10 percent, 11 and a half percent. My average was 121, 2,000 shares, and once I got this little pop, I was giving it a little bit of time. And then I just saw that the volume couldn't really sustain itself, so I said, fuck it, I'm out. I'm okay with the 11%. If this just somehow holds and comes back, whatever. I'm gonna, I'm grateful with this move within, from when I started, um, putting my starter, six minutes in total, this whole trade. So, really nice to make up my loss from SNOA, and then make some more on this. So, in total today, 257 on the day. Nothing spectacular. Would have been a great day if my eye was on ISIG. We got a beautiful predictable breakout play over 12 here. Low flow, low market cap, history of spiking. This one was really it. And finally got a volume perk better than when it set this high here at 12. So that really should have been on radar, but unfortunately I missed it. And there was a quick little pop. Not a spectacular squeeze, if we're being honest, but a solid, quick, what is that, 15% or so opportunity. Um, yeah, so that's that. Still a decent little play, but I thought this was a better setup, so that's why I kind of regret missing it. But nonetheless, NAOV was still, according to my data, I traded it nicely, was patient. Slowly sized in as it was holding VWAP and failing to break down and VWAP, um, and volume kept coming in. So that's the recipe. Just lining things up in your favor. Just some bullish indicators here. Um, what else was it? FRGE, a SPAC play here. Totally missed it. But also, a, it was a nice breakout. It is a bit out of my comfort zone with the market cap and float. But it was doing great price action. And the volume wasn't too bad. So over that 27 area, we had a breakout. Totally missed it. Led to a beautiful play. Almost $20 spike. But here in this area, when it fails to break down, holds VWAP, comes back for that high break, right where the breakout level is, 
that is the entry as it keeps failing to break down the whole day, keeps uptrending. Um, I like to see pullbacks on lighter volume. I like to judge a stock by its pullbacks, and in this case, there's not much energy behind the pullback, not a whole ton of selling going on. So when it fails to break down and starts making higher lows, buyers just start coming out and some of the shorts here just get squeezed and you get a beautiful move from 27 to 44. Um, excuse me, just let me one moment. Back, I'm sorry, I just had to take a phone call real quick. Um, but FRGE here with that beautiful 27 breakout. Lower volume, but the way it pulls back with that extremely low volume, just no energy to the downside. It fails to break down, and that's what leads to this beautiful move. Um, that was, what else am I looking for here? Am I just getting into the watch list now? Am I missing something? I think that was it. NEGG ended up failing here, but decent opportunity with the bounce play. Holding up, just looking for that quick high day break. Once it fails to break down, confirms that it's failing to head lower and snaps the top and bulls take over. As typically when it starts fading, there's no morning spikes and there's just morning panics that break the low and just head lower. So that was a the pattern there. Could have had a quick 10% opportunity opportunity or so. Um, but yeah, so let me just get into the watch list now actually. Before my thing dies, my laptop dies. Looking at a few IGMS. I'm pretty excited for that. Failing to break down. First red day. Solid first green day move really excited just for the failure to continue lower and for the snapback and it really reminds me of um negg and dads how they kind of moved today dad's on here now but we saw negg how it did have that strong first green day and then the second day it just died there's no volume but it didn't totally break down it's still holding up 50% of the gains, so this thing could very well um, put in a bottom around 25 here, where there's some support around 24, 25, or maybe just gaps up. We'll see how it sets up, but I'm going to be eyeing it for a potential multi-day bounce, similar setup to here, how you get a little high in the morning, and you get the consolidation, failure to break down, and it takes off. Um, we'll actually compare it to AGRI from today. This one's on my watch list again for a multi-day bounce because it did finish red. And we did have a little bounce today, but it didn't set up. It just gradually headed higher. There was no consolidation period for me to really acknowledge that there was um, some friction and that it's going to come back to the high a day and take off. It was just a choppy, gradual move. Once it broke the 380s, got a little vertical to the 4s. Solid 10% opportunity here, but nothing good at all uh mainly because that's just not how i trade this pattern and when it works out you get a solid 20 30 percent move in this case it's just a dud and it's continuing lower it was just a little bounce that shorts took advantage of and are taking it down now so with this thing finishing pretty close to the lows if this thing could gap up or show any signs of failure to head lower i think we could get a solid move back to the fours, definitely. Maybe even a little higher than that. For yeah, low fours, four to the four thirty area. I could see a move like that happening. A dollar move from this area would be roughly thirty percent. So that would be according to data as well. Um, but yeah. So here we got solid move. Got the backside shorts taken over. All on light volume too. If this thing could keep holding the three area i think we get a solid bounce it already has a decent bounce already from the lows yeah yeah kind of from the lows here it did try to grind back slowly so if we get any failure to break down and it keeps holding the low threes i will definitely be enjoying a potential setup on a multi-day bounce and same thing let it set a high let shorts think that's just a little pop let it fail to break down, consolidate a little bit, and once it comes back for that high break, shorts are going to recognize that as a momentum shift, and they're going to cover their position because they're already up. Um, so, yeah. And then SXTC. 
Sorry about that, S, you know, if you keep watching these video lessons, I knew you switch that, the S just pauses my video, um, and plays it, but here we go, we got a beautiful play that happened yesterday that I totally underestimated, and now, just looking for a potential bounce play, it is showing some bottoming here on 30 cents, if it fails to head lower, and sets up how I've been talking about with these other plays, I'll definitely enjoy a quick, 15 20 percent gain from it um so yeah that's that another one to keep an eye on clvr i believe there's the house voting on legalization and whatnot so these weed plays could definitely depending on what happens this could definitely be a potential breakout over four for a nice move so we'll see how these plays turn out but just want to go over my watch list some of the plays from today some of my mistakes not really eyeing the right plays um, just really need to focus on my scanner and and really be aware of what's going on, what's moving. It is good that I am focusing on the few that I do have on watch, but I am missing a few opportunities, uh, simple ones too. So we'll fix that. Let's just adjust, take acknowledge what we did wrong. Here's the watch list. It's already on Twitter. Follow us at Pack a Punch Traders. Like this video. Um, if you found it useful and subscribe to the channel, as I usually say daily, we're pumping out videos once or twice a day. And then on the weekends doing reviews of the week and showing how to make my watch list occasionally or just going over my top plays. So many cool things. And also live every, every day on tradecaster.com. You can join for free and you can check us out live there. Ask some questions see what our plays are in the moment, see live trades. Um, so yeah, I'll just wrap it up there, and I hope everyone has a great night.